One of the issues raised in the report was the gross over-representation of Indigenous prisoners. Workers at the jail are calling for the reinstatement of Indigenous liaison officers and a more culturally appropriate approach to incarceration, as Emilia Turzon reports. It's a circle of trust, as incarcerated men from the Barclay meet with elders from their community. So what do you want me to tell them? Oh, make me happy. I'm passing a message through him to the children, you know. It's called the Elders Visiting Program, and it's one of the few Darwin prison programs applauded in a recent review of correctional services. Regardless of what people do, we give people chances, and we certainly want our people to be, feel that we are there for them. Yet in many other areas, the Hamburger Report said the Darwin Correctional Centre is failing Indigenous inmates. Almost 90% of inmates are Aboriginal, yet a few years ago, when prisoners moved to this facility, support roles tailored to Indigenous needs were axed. I tried to fight all that a fair bit and it became quite stressful, but um, in the end, management got their way. The former Aboriginal liaison officer now works in prison rehab programs. She's concerned that considerations like skin groups, language barriers and sorry business are falling by the wayside. So I feel sorry for the prisoners. I don't know, sometimes I feel like they're not getting, having their cultural obligations met. She agrees with the Hamburger report that Aboriginal liaison officers need to be brought back and that initiatives like the Elders Visiting Program need to be bolstered. It's a sentiment reiterated by the head of Medium Security, who is also one of the prison's few Indigenous correctional officers. A lot of these blokes are traditional from communities, they won't talk to females. Unfortunately, 90% of our prison support officers are females. He agrees with the report that there needs to be more Indigenous correctional officers. A lot of Indigenous applicants have come in. Um, they've just struggled, really, really struggled with the legislation and the, the written requirements of the actual training. He says if cultural needs are met, it will reduce the risk of fights between inmates. We've had issues with Darwin-based prisoners, Port Keats, uh, Groot Island, as opposed to Central Australian-based prisoners. And it's just a breakdown of, of understanding of how the different cultures work. The Northern Territory's Attorney-General says a new review will examine more culturally appropriate programs and whether Aboriginal liaison officers should be brought back. Amelia Turzon, ABC News.